Hello friends. Um, apologies right off if you hear some background noise um, a little bit. My daughter is home um, sick today. She has pink eye, but we are doing all the drops and um, it's looking better. She just can't go back to school quite yet because I don't want her to spread it. She still like itches it and stuff and I'm just a little concerned. So Monday they have no school, so um, it should be okay for her to return by Tuesday. Uh-oh. You guys, beware of paper clips in your hobo. I've um, ripped my page at the top several times now. Um, you can see I've changed my cover. I'm waiting impatiently on my zip cover from Japan. Um, but it's going to be arriving next week on Wednesday. Woo! Um, I did also want to show y'all, I got this zip cover from Notique and I am using that for my novel companion and all the stickers. And this is the Notique notebook size zip cover in the Dusty Rose Lizard. And I am loving that. Um, okay, so let's do our weekly spread for next week. Um, we're not going to use, I don't think we're going to use a kit. If I have a kit to use, it would be from a daily like this, um, which might still work. I really love this pattern. Let's see what other ones I have to choose from because I really, let's see. We have a couple things going on. I need to redate this because as you see, this is, um, I moved in early to the 2023. Um, oh, snap. Maybe I'm going to use this guy that I've been hoarding. Even though it's not Halloween until the following Monday. I mean, after Monday, Halloween's over, you know? Um, oh, snap. I think I want to use this. Yeah, and then I'm going to pair with it this washi, washi from Planner Kate. It just comes like on the side of a lot of her pages, and I always save the extra strips because I just like this pattern. And I think that will look um, really nice together. So let's talk about some of the things I have going on next week. There's quite a few. Um that I'm excited about. Now, first of all, I need to redate the top. And since I'm not gonna be probably utilizing my pumpkin countdown stickers much longer, maybe I should use those again. But now I can't find them. I'm a mess. I'm. You know what? Everyone's a mess though. Don't ever think to yourself, uh, I'm a mess, everybody else is perfect. Mm -mm. Everybody else is a mess too, whether they tell you it or not. I'm just going to cover the dates. Let's see how much of this washi, um, oh, I have plenty, I have plenty, plenty. Yeah, I have two more additional strips. I also have those, okay, or maybe I can just cover the date with this. Let me get my tweezers. Um, also, y'all, I consulted an online dermatologist about my eczema. Yeah, maybe this is good. Am I being too loud? You are not being too loud, babe. Thank you for asking. Um, she's coloring her. Oh, here's my pumpkins. She has this um obsession with cardboard boxes. <laughs> So, um, she likes to do crafts with them. I want to go way up here because I want to put, leave some space for the weather. But I feel like I have enough washi to go all the way over there and cover that 2023. Okay, let me make a plan first here. You guys know how it goes. Or this guy can be what's covering. Oh, yes. Okay, so last night I was watching Return to Oz. Do y'all remember? I'm, my convo is jumping all over the place. Let me say this about Return to Oz, and then I swear I will finish telling you about the online dermatologist. 
Um, do y'all remember that creepy 80s movie? And you know what I realized when I was watching it? The chick in the craft is the little girl in Return to Oz. Anyway, Return to Oz is free on Disney Plus, but just fair warning, it is not child friendly. It is, unless your kid is like at least, I say 12, I don't know. My daughter's nine and I think that that show would pretty well freak her out because it just has some weird stuff in it. Um, just has some weird stuff in it, like people taking their heads off and stuff. Ew. Mm hmm So, anyway, yeah, I was watching that last night because, um, I was pretty bored and I was looking in all the different subscription services to find something to watch. And I saw that on Disney Plus and I was like, there's no way I can't at least turn it on. I only watched like half of it, but, um, oh my gosh, y'all, I remembered quickly. Ooh, that's cute. I think I'm gonna put these there and I can always do the weather at the bottom or somewhere else because I think this looks cute um anyway this little pumpkin guy there's a, a similar pumpkin guy in Return to Oz let me know if y'all know um anyway the online dermatologist I used to use Curology for my acne um I am in my 40s so you may be surprised to know that I was d dealing with um, acne, especially when I had PMS, and it would be very, it wouldn't be like all over my face. It would just be like four or five spots that were very deep under my skin, very hard. It would stay there for weeks before they surface, and it would just be really painful. So I was using the Curology products, which is another, a different online dermatologist, for about a year and a half, and all of my acne since has cleared up. I'll get a very small occasional spot now and i think the reason why i don't need those type of products anymore is i changed birth control so i'm no longer on a hormonal iud now i am on the um copper iud so i did reach out to curology yesterday to see if they could help me with my eczema i have eczema on my fingers if y'all can see some spots and i also have the it on my scalp by my ear, on my forehead, and it's just really hard to control. Um, I use like all very sensitive skin eczema approved products and I'm still having a really hard time managing it. So Curology said, you know, they only handle acne and anti-aging. Um, they don't deal with eczema. So I went on this online search and I found another similar company to Curology where you can get a subscription service and talk to a dermatologist online um, and the company is called Row, and the website is Hello Row R O. Um, and I am not affiliated with them. Okay, I just found it, and I just thought it might help some of y'all if you're dealing with a similar issue, um, because I don't want to pay to go see a dermatologist in person. Now, the nurse practitioner that I sent my photos to and chatted with, she said. Um, my fingers look like I've like scratched them too much and perhaps they're a bit infected. So to be putting Neosporin on that. So I've been doing that. And then um, my head, she said, my forehead, she said definitely looks like eczema and she prescribed some steroid cream for me. And she said only use it for a week and that if it is eczema, it should clear up super fast, but don't use it beyond a week because there can be some really bad uh, skin side effects. Um, with using it too much just to use it when it flares up and don't use it for more than five to seven days and then she said if it doesn't go away I will have to go see a real dermatologist in person so I'm hoping that this will help um I'm just gonna leave some room at the bottom for the weather and I want to leave room for let's see this is eight o'clock so that's really the last hour leave that I need. I'm going to leave some room down here for weather, dinner, and uh, gratitude. The spread is turning out so cute. What do you guys think? Um, so anyway, I'm super excited about getting my cream in the mail. They've, they're going to mail it, ship it today. So I should have it by Monday because it's only coming from New York. It's not overseas or anything. Um, if that's what you're thinking and 
yeah, I'm excited to just see if it works for me because it has been a good six months that I've been trying to deal with this with over different over the counter products, different supplements, um, and watching all these online videos. And I was just like, enough's enough. I've, I've got to get some relief because it itches so bad that it wakes me up at night. And I'm scared that it's not ever going to heal because probably I'm itching it in my sleep and breaking the skin barrier. So I'm very careful to not scratch it during the day. But anyway, let's talk about something less medical because some people are easily grossed out. I'm really not because when I was growing up, my um, mom had cancer on and off for 20 years. So you get pretty much acclimated to a lot of medical things going on in your home, medical jargon and all of that. Um, so anyway, I apologize. Sometimes I forget that people are easily affected by um, medical discussions. Um, okay, so let's talk about some things that are more um, seasonal and exciting that are going to be going on next week. For one thing, I'm going to be getting my happy mail um, on Wednesday from Japan. So that's the first thing I want to put in a sticker for that. We're going to leave these decorative stickers because I still want to use these. Um, but I also want like some black boxes or some kind of boxes. Um, I think I have some in here. Um, if y'all are looking for any just functional stickers for your Hobonichi, I got these from Planner Kate and they are labeled as Plum Paper Monthly stickers, but they fit perfectly in the horizontal boxes um, or columns rather. They fit perfectly in the columns for Hobonichi. See? So if y'all are looking for some, highly recommend these. There's tons of different colors and I'll leave a link below where you can find them. I bought these, okay? I'm not affiliated with any sticker shops. You don't ever have to worry about that for me. I, I would love to be affiliated with a couple brands one day, but that has not happened yet. Um, okay, so Wednesday, I'm gonna put down here, this little check box and then I'm gonna use I have a once more with love it's meant to be like shipping orders but I just use it when I have happy mail or when I have to go to the post office for my work um so I'm gonna put A sticker there and then I'm gonna label it as hobo cover and y'all know me I always put my little hearts on it um also I think I'll use some of these once more with love different cooking stickers that I have to mark in my dinners this week. And then I want to also use um, a highlighter. So down here at the bottom, I'm going to make, well, the highlighter is going to be for my gratitude. So two, starting at two, I'm highlighting every other box. And those are going to be where I'm going to just write what I'm grateful for for the day. I've really loved journaling lately. It has been such a great outlet. But I do also like to just have a quick every day when I'm like, oh, this happened, that happened. I got to arrange my schedule. Every day I like to have a short something that I'm grateful for. And I know a lot of people might not want to put that on the weekly view. You could also, I think it would be a great idea to put it on the My 100 and make this a gratitude list. So every couple days in the year, you write something that you're really feeling grateful for that day, whether it's something 
a huge thing. Like my husband just got a new job. I'm really excited for him and for our family and for what that means. It's not starting this week. It's starting on November 1st, but um, it could be something as big as that. It could be something as big as today we're getting a new fridge. We bought this fridge knowing that we wouldn't keep it probably that long. We've had it for six months and it's just way too small. We knew it when we purchased it, but our old fridge went kaput and we just had to buy one on the fly and we didn't want to make payments and stuff. So we just used cash that we had to buy a cheap, small fridge. The one that we have. The one that we have. So my hubby, since he got a promotion and a raise and a new job, he went on and um, got us a bigger fridge. So we're back to the side by side. Right now we have the one with the freezer drawers and it, it's not a very large one. It's only 17 cubic square feet. So um, I'm really excited to get the new fridge today. Um, and I know that's not happening on this spread, but I thought I would talk to y'all about some more positive things than my stupid skin conditions. Also, you might notice I'm doing my nails at home. I'm just using regular polish, no gel, no stickers, no dip, uh, because I do think that a lot of my eczema is caused by allergies. Um, I'm going to stop using any nail products that are have glues, adhesives, or like the stuff that's in the dip. The paint doesn't bother me that I know of, but I know that I am allergic to certain glues and adhesives. So I'm hoping that if I stop, um, y'all know what? I want some boxes for my dinners. Oh, I'm just talking to the video, babe. Yeah. Um, so I am... going to discontinue using those products and hopefully, I don't know, but maybe the, the ones that are on my head and stuff too, maybe those are also from touching my head with the different nail products that I may have on my head. So I'm hoping that it's gonna be a quick solve. I'm gonna get this cream and I'm gonna discontinue anything to do with, I'm not gonna be able to go to the nail salon anymore. And I'm not going to be able to do the different nail products at home because I think my skin is just too sensitive, period. So, um, hopefully that's a quick solve. I did also do, last year, an elimination type diet for a fitness challenge that I was in. And I noticed that when I discontinued dairy, a lot of my inflammation went down. So... If I continue having a problem after the steroid cream treatment and stopping everything to do with my nails, if I continue having a problem, I'm gonna try to eliminate dairy from my diet. Um, because if you guys don't know, or if you haven't ever dealt with eczema, eczema can be um, definitely to do with different allergies. It's a really broad term for your skin being jacked up. <laughs> so, it can really be many different things causing it. Um, I didn't know that. I, I used to think eczema was like a thing and you can cure it, but no. Eczema just means, hey, your skin's jacked up for some unknown reason. So that's great. Um, anyway, luckily I work at home and so I don't often wear makeup and I can um, try these different things to see what makes it better. This is so cute, but the Hobonichi cover and the sticker, it's just like way too close. Oh no, paper's getting ripped. Okay, it almost ripped my paper, but I saved it. I'm gonna put this at um, the top of Wednesday instead. Yay. Okay, that looks better. I kind of wish I would have put gray lines down here instead of orange, but I like the balance of the orange with so much orange at the top. So, but I'm not going to be using orange in the middle because this is going to get too orangey, you know? Right, guys? Ugh. Anyway, 
Another exciting thing that we're doing this week, which I'm going to mark down on Saturday, um, I'm hoping Braden can join us because he's been having band competitions every Saturday and we're going this week, um, tomorrow on the 22nd. You want to go with me still tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, tell, tell them where we're going next week on Saturday, Emma. We're going to go to, uh, like, a goat yoga. <laughs> so it's a place where they do goat yoga, but they're having special events during October where you don't necessarily do the yoga. You go and pet the goats and do pumpkin carving. And I am stoked because last year, um, okay, two years ago, we went to Boo at the Zoo for our um, pumpkin patch event. And that was really fun, but the weather was super nice for it. It was 70s, kind of chilly, and we're, we all the animals were coming out, and we really loved it. Um, and they had a lot of little activities there for the kids. And my kids were younger than two, you know, two years ago. So um, last year, we went to this petting zoo, Old McDonald's Farm, where they have all the goats and pigs and steer, and you can do the pony ride, and they give you this little pumpkin, and they have all kinds of areas where you can take your photos and they have a little train that goes around the property that you can ride and okay that was a mistake there were so many people there and it was the hottest day I think it was like 90 this is last year so I'm like nah we are not going back to old McDonald's farm this year but I still wanted to find a fun family activity that we can go to y'all I want this witch's tea to be over here where all the cooking stuff is happening. I want it to kind of hang off the page because I want to make it look like it was, I don't know, I like this look. When something's kind of like popping off the page. I think that's cute. Then for the sidebar, I'm just gonna put the one last little box that I have and I'm gonna put um, a script over it that says this week and I'm gonna have some dots to put like some of the more highlighted events or things that I don't want to forget. So we're really excited this year to go to a smaller event and it's going to be nicer weather. And apparently you pet goats that are in pajamas that are baby goats and you carve your pumpkin. Super stoked. So I'm excited to try that event. Um, I would love to just do the goat yoga. I'm not much on yoga because I'm not that flexible and I, it's just it's just slow moving and I get bored. But um, let's see what seasonal little sticker I have for goat yoga. <laughs> Here we go. I have a emoji functional doodle. I forgot what time the event's at. We'll just put it around 10. And then I want a pumpkin by it as well. There's a I like the one that's laughing because I just think that's going to be so funny with the goats. Oh, that would be cute to put over. I love the little emoji in the corner, but that's just too cute. Let's do that. So yeah, super stoked to go see the goats and have somebody else help us carve pumpkins because we are not great at carving pumpkins. We paint pumpkins now because every year my kids get so frustrated that they can't make these amazing designs. We've tried stencils, electric carving tools, regular carving tools. We're just not pumpkin carvers. It just turns out to be not fun. And it's gooey inside. And it's gooey inside. <laughs> so, um, the fact that we're going to be making this mess elsewhere and if my kid ends up not to like it, I'll just leave. Um, if Emma doesn't like it, I'll just leave Brayden and John to the pumpkin carving and me and Emma will just go pet more goats. Right, Emma? Yep. 
perfect because when you're at home, there's no goats to distract you from the fact that you hate everything about pumpkin carving. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're really excited for that. Um, other than that, I also have a work meeting that is going to be important this week. On Monday, I am transitioning to a new supervisor because my current supervisor's last day is November 4th, which I hate. I hate so much that she's going. I mean, I'm not opposed to having a new supervisor. I like everybody on our team, but I'm just really sad. I've worked with my current supervisor for three years and yeah, it's just sucks that she won't be there anymore. I think this meeting is around 10, 10 30. This is an A5 size box from Planner Kate, so you, you can kind of cut it down like that. That's another trick if you have a lot of A5 things and you're transitioning to a Hobonichi that works pretty great for me, but it does make it look like it takes up a lot of hours. So if you're very concerned about these pre printed hours, that's not the best idea. Um, Anyway, so I do have that meeting. Um, there's no school on Monday because it is a teacher in service day. So I'm gonna find a no school sticker. Brayden is so excited about no school because um, they're in the thick of football season. He's had a lot of things going on with that oh actually i want to move this hobonichi cover because i am going to mark in the drop off that's usually at 7 30 and maybe i'll just put it over here because it may not come on wednesday it's it's saying it's going to arrive by wednesday but they did initially give me a window of the 26th to the 29th but you know, I want it coming on Wednesday. As soon as it, as I can have it, I want it. Um, okay. So we're going to mark in pick up from school, which is every day at 3.30. And then drop off. Is every day... 7.30. And then what I have been doing, which has been working great for me, is drawing a dotted line across the page so that I don't have to use as many stickers for pick up and drop off. You could put one on every day, but I'm trying to hoard my stickers because they're running out <laughs> and I have spent my money on other things and y'all I totally noticed in my last video when I was like I know this seems counterintuitive and then y'all were probably like what seems counterintuitive because I never finished my statement I was trying to say on on these new covers that I've purchased I'm not going to be switching out my covers to match whatever's going on in the front of my Hobonichi I'm only going to have for my Hobonichis the ones that I've already purchased. I'm not going to purchase any more covers this year. I'm going to have these two that are pretty neutral. I'm going to have my Notique Nota cover, which is white croc. And I'm going to have the zip cover that I just ordered, which is gray with pink flowers. And then for my five-year journal, I have this cover, which is going to remain on it. And then for my reading journal, I have this cover, which is going to remain on it. So I'm really excited. All the rest of my A5 rings and stuff, I'm going to be storing in the garage. Um, and if I continue with Hobonichi next, you know, 2024, then I'll be um, selling a lot of those. So I'm really excited to be like scaling down and feeling just more like myself. Um, let's see, Sunday... That's just going to be a chill day, so. Let's put a TV. And I'm, I am very proud of myself. I got back to my couch to 5K. I did it yesterday. Um, 
Let's see, I'm probably gonna sleep in like quite late on Sunday. So let me get a sticker for that. I am not even ashamed to say on the weekends, I sleep in as much as I can because why not? Here's a really cute weekend banner. And then I'm just going to put right here around from one to three. Relax and chill. I'm going to put a little TV guy there with whatever I'm going to binge. I am also very excited that I started reading again and getting new books and finding ways like I love bookstagram now. Um, so eventually if I become a more avid reader, um, I may get, you know, open a new account for bookstagram. But right now I just read like one, two books a month getting back into it. So, um, I'm really loving this setup that I did this week. Now I know I kind of put that washi there, so I can't do it for Monday, but I am going to put a dot across every day by the 9 p.m. Um, that'll just be like for one to do. And then I really don't have room to put the weather. I don't know. I, I go back and forth on wanting to put the weather on my spreads. It's like, it's a thing I want to do, but then I'm just like, why? I can just look at it on my phone. And I know that's how people feel about a lot of planning, but that's how I feel about the weather. How cute is this? Maybe I want to put a little sticker over here. Should I, Emma? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Should I put it on right here or over here on the side? Um, right here. Right here? Okay, now look, I... I'm thinking too, what other sticker would be cute to put like kind of in the middle? Maybe the book mm -hmm. or this one with the little ghost coming out of the candle. Yeah. How's your eye feeling, babe? Good. Is it feeling too um, itchy anymore? It's still itchy. It's still itchy. Yikes. Well, it might be allergies. It's kind of hard to know if it's itching because of pink eye or allergies, huh? Cute. And then we look, I kind of cut it so that I could put it on both sides. What do you think? Pretty cool. You think that's cool? You're so sweet. Your mom's not cool. I'm a big nerd and that's okay. I don't mind to be a nerd. Yummy. <laughs> What's yummy? Nerd. <laughs> you think I'm talking about candy? Mm -hmm. mm. Too funny. Okay, y'all, that's going to be it for this plan with me. I tend to plan as I go after I put these initial things in. I hope that you've enjoyed the chit chat. Let me know if you're doing anything special um, as Halloween approaches, if you do um, celebrate that particular holiday, and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye!